even though I was going to dedicate Saturday to being my wedding planning day for this week, I've just been really into it right now. Especially since today I was originally scheduled to film toy videos and um, that ain't happening. <laughs> so I was like, let's make today kind of a wedding day and maybe do a few more Twitch prep things and stuff with my Elgato stream deck. But anyway, I've been looking into flowers. I really don't want silk flowers, maybe for some things, but I'm just so in love with those latex flowers that I got from eBay. Problem was they took two months to get to me and I was planning on going to visit my mom next month, like around the 15th. So that's like less than a month from today. And so I didn't expect these to take this long to ship to me. I thought maybe a month, but not two months. And so, I was like, well, crap, I can't use these then. But then I was like, well, no, this is what I really want. I've been looking into things. I've been like looking up places that sell fake flowers in Vancouver. I'm not finding a whole lot. And I really don't want the silk flowers. I want the main flowers to be these latex ones. And so I kind of want to order more. That just means pushing back my trip home to work on the centerpieces. Because the plan was, you know, get some samples sent to me here and then make the full order and mail it to my mom's place. And then I'd go there and work on centerpieces and stuff there. Cause that's where the wedding is. It's really a pain in the butt that the wedding is not here. Like, ugh. Anyway, <laughs> so I was doing more research and I just decided this is what I want. And so I'm just gonna delay my trip home. It's gonna have to be either end of July or beginning of August, something like that. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think that'll work better because then I'll get what I want. Plus these are just dirt cheap. It's also just what I like best. Like, huh, it's a win-win situation, except for the fact that they take long to get here. So yeah, I decided I am gonna do that. I'm gonna push back my trip. I found an idea I really like and I think that's what I'm gonna go with. It involves having glass cylinders on the table. Let me show you my sketches actually. So I was inspired by fairy light centerpieces, particularly stuff like this in glass and stuff with the flowers sticking out. I also really liked this kind of thing where there's floating candles. And so my idea is to do sort of a mixture of both. I'll probably do the floating candles in smaller vases. Like we'll see what I can find for something this size. It could even be just like a somewhat tall cup. It doesn't even have to be anything too fancy, but yeah, I can get these glass cylinders. There's a place in Medicine Hat that sells these and it's a good price. Uh, and then I'll have flowers. I'll have those white roses, maybe a, another type of flower, some greenery, whatever. I have to research more flower thingies. And then there will be fairy lights throughout. So yeah, this is my sketch. Fairy lights. Glass cylinder, white roses, greenery, whatever. I can't find good navy boot blue flowers, so we'll see what I can find. Or even just like little gold accents to stick through there, because the colors are navy and gold for the wedding, so I'd like to incorporate that somewhere. But the tablecloths are going to be navy, so I don't want the centerpieces to be too navy, if you get my drift. Anyway, yeah, then the small one is going to be a floating candle, but there's going to be a flower head at the bottom, like I'll probably just uh, hot glue it to the bottom of the jar and that'll sit there in water and then there'll be a floating candle on top. So that was my idea. And then I'd probably have three of these smaller ones per table and one big one. And then some kind of circular base. I really like the look of mirror bases. I don't know if I'll find those cheaply anywhere though. I might just end up going with the circular fabric base. Who knows? It also depends on the sizes, like whatever. I just want to go on a hunt and see what I can find. Anyway, I need to carry on with my day, with my workout and showering and whatnot, because I actually want to go to Michael's, see what I can find there. They have flower stuff on for buy one, get one free. And then on the 24th, they have 55% off. But I want to go in today, I think, and just see what there is, pick up a few things maybe, and yeah, just look around, get some ideas. Okay, I am finally leaving the house. If they had this in a navy, that would have been really nice. But I'm probably not going to find navy till like a fall collection because this is all summer. And it's really quiet without music right now. I like these. This is $10, so I could get two for $10, but it's like... 
it's still expensive. <laughs> but it's nice to get ideas. Oh, yes. Oh, these are so wedding-y. Um, like, even if you had something like this, well, that's a long stem, you could totally stuff it. Like, these could spread out, and you can totally stuff it with a ton of other flowers to make a big bouquet. I love the laciness on these ones. Oh. Although I don't think lace really matches the theme. Mm. Mm. Oh, these big ones. Oh, so pretty. Quite like these ones. But none of these are on sale right now. It's only the summer collection that's on sale, not the fall collection. Because these are all fall technically, according to the tag. So pretty. I love all the roses. I've just been sitting here looking at them all. I'm just gonna get one for my enchanted rose thing that I'm making. But I feel like anything else I want to get for centerpieces or otherwise, I should probably order online. Except if it's just the odd thing, like like bouquets, I could buy stuff in person because I don't need a lot of it. I love these because they're kind of like a champagne color. These ones are cheap too. I'm gonna check that upcoming sale on the 24th if that's for all flowers. Cause the current sale is summer only. The seller I got my white flowers from, they do champagne flowers, but the thing with those flowers is they're all small. I need bigger ones too, which is probably what I'd buy in person. Yeah, it's 55% off all floral and greenery. So I'm still gonna get the red rose because it's like five bucks <laughs> but then i think i'll come back and anything i buy here though i'm gonna have to ship to my mom's place i don't want to drive there because it's a two-day drive and that's just gonna take too long especially since we're driving down for the wedding i don't want to drive down twice <laughs> so i'll have to ship some stuff to her these would be amazing with color liquid in them and a flower head i don't know if these ever go on sale but these are really expensive <laughs> they have a lot of great shapes though i mean i'm kind of just looking for small cylinders like i want bigger ones roughly this or this size but i'm getting those online i don't think that website had smaller ones i mean i could check again i want short ones kind of like this maybe even a bit shorter but without the jewels on them kind of like this but not square i mean it could be square i don't know i also need to look for a ribbon for the bouquets Ooh, this is kind of neat with the frayed edges Although, I don't want to go too rustic. I gotta keep in mind, the theme's very elegant, you know? Well, <laughs> somewhat elegant. Ooh, I like this kind. It's sheer. Ooh. It's one of those things where it's like, I don't need it now, so I might as well wait until it's all on sale. I'll have to keep an eye out for the flyers. I never check them, like we don't get them to our house, so I have to check online. I should check every week. Wait for ribbon to go on sale. Buy some navy stuff and maybe a bit of gold. Now, I want a base for my rose thing. And I think I already know what I want. I walked past it already. And I didn't even think that that could work for my rose thing, but it would work nicely. I want the moose. I want them. I could get two for the price of one. Anyway, let me show you what I was after for the base. Ooh, oh, there are several sizes. Oh no. See, this is gonna be bigger than my bell jar, but maybe a bit of an edge is nice. This is probably a bit smaller than my bell jar. I mean, I could cut one, but they have nice edges. I don't really wanna cut it. And the Enchanted Rose doesn't have a base, but I need some kind of base to hide the box for the fairy lights. And I thought a plant base, like grass would be cute. But at the same time, even just like a piece of black cloth or navy cloth would probably look better. This might steal too much attention. Hmm, I'll put that back. I'm gonna get one of these. I'm glad I stumbled upon these because I meant to grab one for doodle domain i want something as a backdrop for the doodle videos that's not the same as my art desk oh hello doesn't that look a little familiar 
but not as nice as mine. How big, how big do you want to the one I'm looking at is 10 inches and it seems to be a good size. If we're just putting the main center one on it and then the littler ones won't be sitting on it. But like I said, it doesn't have to be a mirror. That was just one of my thoughts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just chatting with my mom about wedding stuff and just trying to figure out when I can go to her place to work on centerpieces because like it was dependent on her holidays and mine and stuff. And we figured out a time. These are up front for a dollar each and they just feel so witchy and cool. I don't know. It's like a throwback to my sciency days. I kind of want to pick up a couple of these. I think these ones are in the wrong spot because it says mini glass bottle with cork. This one says round glass with cork. So I think they're $2.29 each, but I want to get a couple of these. Oh, with this one too. What am I going to do with, like, where am I going to put this? I have problems. I just want like a little assortment of glass containers. Whoa, wait, what? A light bulb. <laughs> Okay, I'm set. Oh, but these are cute too. Look at these. <laughs> Extreme shot glass. All right, time for a little Michael's haul. I got two cats. They're very cute. I just couldn't leave them behind. There's the foam board thing. There's some yellow paint, E6000 glue. I picked up a few little test tubes that I showed you. And I also picked up some of those other glass containers I was showing you just because they're so cheap. They're not for the wedding. That's just like my own thing. I just wanted them. And everything's wrapped. I'm like, why am I even trying to show this? <laughs> I mean, I showed it all in my cart. I got these two dome things, the little glass containers, the E6000, the paint, and that, and the rose. Yeah. So I just went online and ordered the tall glass faces and the fairy lights and the floating candles and some flowers. That's probably all I'm going to order online. Like, I'm going to poke around a bit more, but from that particular seller, there's only two kinds of flowers I want. If you know good places online to get just the little greenery that goes around flowers and stuff, like cute little leafy green things, let me know. Like, some someplace cheap. I want cheap, man. <laughs> I'm going to poke around the dollar store, though. Like, right now, I think I'm just going to drive there, even though I just got home. I'm going to drive there and see what they have for glass containers for the short cylinders. Remember I said I wanted a tall cylinder and then like three short ones? I realized they don't even have to all be cylinders. They could be more bowl shaped, like fish bowl shaped. They could they could be kind of anything and they don't even all have to match. They could, there could be different ones on each table or like one table could have three different kinds. I don't know. Um, so I'm just gonna go to the dollar store and see what I can find and just kind of stockpile stuff because this is one of those things where uh, I'm gonna have it here in Vancouver like everything I just bought online I shipped to my mom But this I can send back with Christian's parents. They're coming to visit soon and I can send them Those like if I find something at the dollar store, uh, I probably won't find enough today That's why I want to like do this in installments and then also our parents can look at their local dollar store for stuff, too uh, but I also want to send them these back because these are heavy they'd be heavy to ship so if I can send them back with Christian's parents that'd be great because we'll be working on this stuff when I go to visit oh god is this still recording <laughs> this has been going for 15 minutes I got a little caught up with messages and emails <laughs> so here's what I was looking for I mean ideally it would be straight up and down but I could use something like this or this depends if I want it taller or not like even these round ones would work I kind of like these because they look less like a cup because they're an unusual size like they're skinnier than a usual small glass I guess <laughs> to see with this one if I glue a flower in the bottom there's not much height left for the candle even though if, I guess if it's pretty full of water the candles way up there Hmm, the flower might be a little bit squished in this one though. It might be too narrow for the flower. These are neat too, because you could just pop the lid off and use it like this. Let's compare it to one of those other glasses. Yeah, they're about the same height, but it's got some extra width to it and it looks less like a cup, right? 
You know what, I am gonna go with those other glasses even though they're a bit narrower just cause they look more sleek. These ones have seams on two sides, plus the glass is not as clear, especially at the top. The other one just looks more like a vase, so I wanna do that. Oh, hello. Well, I may have purchased a few of the glasses. I felt bad for the cashier because I waddle up with my 46 cups, which is all the ones they had. And she had to wrap them all, like she offered to, because she's like, oh, do you want them wrapped? And I was like, oh, I don't know. And she said, oh, you probably should. So she was wrapping them and then the cashier next to her was helping in between customers, helping wrap more, or like while waiting for someone to dig out their wallet, she's like wrapping cups furiously. So I was just like, ah, uh, I'm that person, no. <laughs> So awkward. I feel like the wedding stuff never ends. It's like there are things you didn't realize you had to do that crop up. It's insane and like I spent most of my day today doing wedding stuff and it was mostly centered around centerpieces. Centered around centerpieces. <sighs> it's crazy and technically we don't even have everything purchased for them. I mean mostly everything's purchased. Really, we just need some kind of base. Like I wanted a circular piece of mirror. My mom found some on Etsy that are a decent price. There are some on Amazon.com, which are a good price, but they don't ship to Canada. But other than that, we have most stuff. I guess also other flowers and greenery that we want to put in the top too. So yeah, and then it's just a matter of assembling them. And that's going to be the fun part. That's what I'm excited about are like the bouquets, centerpieces, uh, any other decorations I make the invitations, like that's gonna be the fun stuff. So, you. You stretching? I'm gonna walk like a people. I think I'm gonna get myself either like a nice hot drink or a little snack, something like that. Christian should be home from work soon. Uh, the last couple of nights I stayed up late at my computer working on stuff, so I'm trying to not do that tonight. So I'm like, okay, when Christian's home, I'm done. Stuff. Even though I didn't really work today, it was all just wedding stuff and like editing the vlog and replying to comments and stuff. Wedding stuff doesn't count as work. <laughs> I've been feeling really good this week though and I think part of it is because I am tackling so many other things that don't involve making videos like tackling that wedding stuff, upgrading Twitch graphics, I got my contact paper, I got my stream deck, all these little things are making me feel really good plus dropping the toy channel feels like a weight lifted even though like I don't know I feel like whenever I mention it negatively I'm like but I liked it I liked it I did I did it just wasn't as fun anymore <laughs> I don't want to make it seem like it was a huge burden but it did you know it does feel like weight lifted now that I'm not doing that anymore um anyway so I've just been in a good mood and I also haven't had to work on an art video this week because Jazza and I filmed our collab at ClamorCon, so I just had to edit it, which I, I'm done. And so that gave me extra time as well this week. So I just feel like this freedom, I'm like, I'm getting so many other things done, what is this? <laughs> but there's still a lot of things left to do, so I shouldn't get too excited. <laughs> Bonnie's home! Before I could even hear Christian coming, Midna heard and she jumped out of the box and ran over towards the door. And she waited for her daddy. Yep, you heard him. Where's daddy going? He's going downstairs. Alright, we're heading to bed. I was falling asleep there. We were watching the first episode of the Lizzie Borden. Chronicles, but it was dozing off and then Christian went upstairs to wash up and I was gonna get up right after him But I started falling asleep again. So whew, gotta, get up. gotta get up and go Anyway, that is it for the vlog. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow mm -hmm.